Hello everyone, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posted by the community. I'm Steve Al, I was known as Just on the Forums, and today we're looking at a um, an issue from a post uh, from a user where they're trying to do a door animation uh, within their game, um, and they're trying to like, open and close it at will. Uh, but the issue is, rather than having separate animations for opening and closing, um, they just have the single anim where it opens and closes in the same animation, which makes it a, a more difficult control. Because if there were uh, separate animations, then you could use the anim state graph uh, to drive it, where you have different states for open and close, or opening, closing, opens and close, uh, and then use the site, the uh, what do you call it, the parameters to help drive the different transitions through the state. So because it's one animation, what we're going to have to do is drive uh, drive this behavior or the state behavior uh, in code only. And we can do this um, with the help of animation events to help know when the door is fully opened and when the door, uh, or, door or animation is fully uh, finished. Uh, and that will help us decide what state we're in and what, con uh, what controls or uh, what logic we can drive from that. Uh, so what we're going to do now is create a new project and copy some of the assets over. So we call this, uh, let's say, call it single animation. Make it public. Uh, pop in here, and we're going to copy and paste the assets over. So this is driven from a template. Copy, and we're going to paste it. Uh, let's create a folder first. Call it door, and paste them over. So this should give us template, the animations, and all the um, materials and textures to go along with it. Pop it into the world. Let's get rid of the box. Okay. I'm going to do that. Get rid of just the box, please. And for this, we don't need the physics because uh, we're just showing the animation. So let's clean that up a little bit. Uh, flip the light 180 degrees so we can see it. And then we're going to frame the camera as well because the camera is actually quite far away. There we go, put it a bit closer. Perfect. Okay, um, so let's set this up to make sure that this animation works. Uh, there's no state graph, so just create a new state graph. Doesn't really matter what state's in there, the default one's fine. And that's because we only got one state, uh, we only got one animation, so we only got one state. Uh, oops. And let's run that to make sure that works. What's up? Okay. So what we're going to do here, the first step is to make sure we can uh, put in the animation events for the door being fully opened and fully closed. And then we're going to uh, write, oh, we're going to create a script uh, to stop the animation when it's fully open, and that'll be our first test. So let's do that now. Uh, doo -doo, let's grab the animation. Where's the animation gone? Doo -doo. Um, looks like it was the one that the user already created for it, and figure out where we want to stop this animation. So let's see, about, back, uh, about there, 1.2. A great event, put a time 1.2 and call it door opened. And then we're going to do the same again towards the end. Add the animation event. Let's do it just before to make sure we hit it. And that'll be door closed. Oh, whoops. They swapped the events because of uh, it's ordered by time. So, perfect. And now we're going to write a code for the door. So, call it door script. And in the script, we are going to make, uh, we're going to listen to the animation, oops, the anim event for door opened and in here we a function callback where we will stop the animation from playing so this dot nc dot playing oops equals false and I'm going to attach the script to the door where's it gone da, 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 da. Okay, now let's run that and see if that works. Door opens, events fired, door stays open, perfect. 
Now, what we're going to do is be able to open and door open and close the door on demand. Um, so the original user, so the original poster, uh, wants to do this through walking through the door, walking up to the door, and pushing a key. Uh, to help test this, we're going to just do it based on key press. So we're going to do uh, when you push uh, when you push O, it'd be for open, and you push C for close. So now we need to track what the state the door is currently in, whether it's closing or opening. Uh, we should be quite, uh, which is really easy to do. So we just create a new variable for the class. Um, and change that based uh, based on what event has happened most recent. So call the state equals opened. That's how you spell opened. And then copy and paste. Ooh. Copy and paste this. The so copy and paste this. Let's try again. This is for the close event. Now closed. Stop playing, which is fine. And now we want to put in uh, the uh, input section for the keyboard. So we're going to check what state's in this first. So if it's state is equal to opened and it's fully open. So if it's fully open, it's stop, uh, the animation has stopped playing. And then dot playing. Uh, we want to check if the person presses um, press the C button through the keyboard. Uh, and if that happens, then we will play the uh, play the animation. This dot and see dot and play. And let's see, the state opened. The state is opened. And stop playing. That means it's fully opened. We push C. We carry on playing, and that will finish playing the rest of the animation, which will close the door. I'm going to do the opposite for when the door when the door's fully closed. We press O, not zero O. But in this case, we want to ensure because uh, the open animation is done at the beginning of the animation. Uh, we want to uh, set the act. This when we set the time, the current uh, time that is at in the state back to zero. The dot, and we do this through the base layer. Active, not active state. Active state time. Current time equals zero. Okay, so this resets the animation timer uh, back to zero, and carries on playing the animation. So let's see if that works. So the door's fully open, we push C, perfect, and push O, and there you go. We've got a fully closing, opening and closed door, sorry, fully closing, fully animating, closing, fully closing, fully animating door that opens and closes on, on demand. Sweet. Um, so to run through this, uh, run through what just happened. Uh, sorry, to run through this again, uh, let's go through the implementation on the animation. Uh, we add two events: one for when the doors fully open, one for when the doors fully closed. In the code, uh, we listen for those events and stop playing the animation when those occur, so they don't keep playing. Um, what does it say? Uh, da, da. And then we track what state the doors in through these events as well, and then in the update. Uh, where we want to trigger the door being open and closed, uh, we can do so by um, we can do so by checking the spot states in whether the animation is uh, playing or not. See if the key's being pushed, and then continue playing the animation, except in the place where we want to open uh, where we want to open it, because the open animation's right at the start of um, the start of the full animation. Therefore, we have to reset the time back to zero before we start playing again. Um, so now I'm going to quickly just create a checkpoint and send this off back to the original poster. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.